Okay, for the second step for moving the keyboard, you have to open the display to its fullest extent, and then basically pry out the keyboard. And to do this, I used my safety pin. I like safety pins, I guess a regular pin would do, but these are nice because they've got this back part you can hang on to. And this is sort of a don't test at home, because if, you, if it goes wrong, you could, you could put the pin right into the motherboard. So be very, very careful if you're trying to do that. What I did is I got, well, when I took the screws out, the top, the middle area up here started to bow up. So I just to get my fingers under that and carefully pry out one tab. There's actually four tabs in this keyboard that hold it in. There's one here, one here, and one here, and one here. And that's the clip over the keyboard, so you've got to either pry the body of the netbook away a bit, or kind of bend the keyboard to get it out. And through a method of both those, I managed to get the keyboard to pop out. But now we're not quite done yet, because if you pull the keyboard out now, you'll rip off the connector. And this particular connector is a ZIF connector, which stands for Zero Insertion Force. You can see it right down here. So, the next step, we'll show you how to remove that.